hey guys what's up welcome back i'm here with another video and i'm trying to be as consistent as i can be because i have just not had any motivation to do any youtube videos but i was like you know what let me just get one done because you know why not plus it's like not really motivating when you're not really getting a lot of views on youtube and you're creating these long videos for barely anybody to watch so you know it is a little frustrating but I'm not gonna give up and I'm not gonna let that um, affect me so yeah here we are with another video so I went and picked up uh, this extreme wet line gel I've used it before but I um, haven't used it in a long long time and when I did use it I had like the little mini jar but overall this gel is pretty hydrating the hold is not it's like a soft hold I don't know where they get like a strong hold maybe for like a wash and go it does uh, work as a good gel to use but it really wasn't like strong to the point where it gave me like this really um, hard cast because it didn't so now I'm just using my tangle teaser brush and I'm just gonna brush my hair out, make sure that it is completely combed through and combed out. I absolutely love this brush. I just posted a video comparison um, on this brush compared to the Denman brush and just like which one I prefer uh, to detangle and which one I prefer to like define and stuff like that. Um, so I'm using some shine braiding jam and I love this I do braid um, hair so I really like this jam for hair um, I also use it for my edges it works really nice it actually holds more than the wet line gel which is crazy um, so I tried this hair out this is my first time doing a crochet ponytail type of thing so you want to make sure your hair is secured in these buns and you don't make sure they're secure because my, my buns kept coming out and I was like, what in the world? But um, yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to stick the crochet needle through your bun. It was a little difficult at first because I think I was trying to push it through a really deep piece. You don't have to do uh, go that deep or put that much hair in. So it's, yeah. So I latched it on and pulled it through. Then I took the hair and I pulled it through the loop and just tightened it. And there you go. Now I'm just gonna keep on repeating this because it's pretty simple. Um, Self-explanatory, you're just gonna put the crochet needle through the hair, attach your crochet hair onto the needle, and you're gonna latch it. and then pull through pretty easy it can get messy the only reason why I didn't want to um, separate these curls is because I knew I was gonna sleep on it because I did this like in the nighttime and I knew it'll get frizzy and like really mad it so I didn't want to do any of that um, but yeah so I was just gonna use one full pack on each side because even though it looks like this a lot it's really not and this is why I say secure your bun because you can see like the top is getting loose and it's making my bun bigger well I didn't really have no issue with this because again I said I was only leaving it in for the night but you want to make sure that your bun is secured because you, if you're gonna have this in you don't want it to fall out or drop this is a really uh difficult thing because my arms was getting tired and I was like dang but it only hurt for a little bit after you get the hang of it you're like okay this is easy breezy easy breezy <laughs> but yeah I'm just showing you guys in real time what I'm doing and how I'm doing it it did get difficult as the hair got frizzy because then and as I was putting more hair in because I was like losing track on where the hair was or which one was I pulling it was a little difficult you just gotta keep, stay on top and just I would suggest looking in the mirror just so that you could see um, 
which ones you're pulling and if you're supposed to be pulling that one so yeah so i've been so sleepy oh my god you guys like right now i just want to go to sleep even doing this voiceover i decided to get the vaccine and um i recently got my second dose and thank god i am okay the most uh pain just probably like a mild headache and just a sore arm um my side effect has pretty much been sleeping majority of the day for the past few weeks but that's about it i'm just like you know just trying to get back into my regular routine um again thank god i'm okay and you know i'm not saying that i am against it i'm i'm not gonna say that i'm with it but you know we all have lives outside of you know social media and we have to do what we have to do for the safety of our others around us um but yeah, if you did decide to get the vaccine, um, you are brave and you are strong. I'm proud of you, even if it's not a decision that you wanted to do. Um, but yeah, this is my final look, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please drop them below. And make sure you guys keep up with me on Instagram. Bye.